Hello. So today is the full moon in Pisces. I know I'm a little bit later than I normally am. This light looks like it's coming out of my forehead. <laughs> Not forehead, crown of my head. I'll just leave it like that. So we're in the full moon in Pisces, right? So sun is in Virgo and the moon is in Pisces. So they're opposite sides of the table. So if you think about them as personalities, right? Or archetypes, the Virgo is the detailed, oriented, um, very task-oriented, um, get this done, get this done, get it done, right? And what's the best way to do it? Like, this is what um, the focus of the Virgo is. So you could think of it as the, the kid in class who raises their hand and asks the teacher, what is the homework? <laughs> it's like, <"Shh." laughs> so that's like the Virgo kind of, you know, it's an extreme, but you get the idea. Very practical earth element. And then you have the Pisces and the Pisces is water. The Pisces is very emotional and it's very emotional. It's the most emotional, I would say, of the water signs. I will say that. And because um, it's so heavy, it's so weighted. And it could be so much that the Pisces doesn't want to feel everything that they feel because they like feel everything. And they can pick up other people's energy. And it's just, it's a lot. So these two at the opposite ends of the table, like you could think of them as siblings, <laughs> right? And there are like Virgos, like, come on, Pisces, you know, grow up, you know, get, look, just get to work, get stuff done. And the Pisces is like, Virgo, you know, don't, you don't care about how I feel. You don't understand what it's like. You're just so busy all the time doing what you're doing that you don't know what it's like. Or So there's this, right between the two so um that's how that's how i see it that's i'd like to make stories out of it and then it makes it more personal right because we are affected by all of it we're affected by the sun we're affected by the moon right now it's a rainy day there's no sun out even though it is out but i can't see it and i can't feel it um but it, it's we need it and then the moon being full reflecting you know so we'll see what i see tonight um but it's a it's um it affects us it affects us physically mentally emotionally um the the earth the ground right the weather we all get affected by all of it so this full moon um, my invitation for you is to let go of anything that's holding you back of um, what your intention is, of how you want to live your life, of how you want to experience the world. Ha, huh. <laughs> you know, what does all that mean, right? So even though Pisces and Virgo are opposite, they're opposite ends of the same energy, just like the inhale and the exhale. So that's really um, what it is. It's not that they're they're in opposition, but they're not opposite energies. They're opposite ends of the same energy. So if you look at it that way, you can utilize them for your benefit. So how can you use them and use them for your benefit? Right. So you can think of a Virgo puts um, parameters around the Pisces experience, right? It's like, OK, we'll designate this time for you to have your emotional outburst. And then when you calm down, then we're going to take some action steps <laughs> to get get this um, resolve taken care of or at least in a, in a better state. And Pisces can humanize <laughs> the Virgo a bit and, and be like, remember why you're doing what you're doing, you know, that, that we do our work 
out of love. We take care of, of things out of, out of love and out of care and compassion. And just creating that shift. Um, so we can use both of the energies, right, together, because they're not always in conflict. It can be used the other way as well. All right. I want to thank you so much for listening. I have a five-day intensive uh, training starting next Monday, that's September 19th. And I'm so excited. It's Discover Your Divine Truth, right? But this is the intensive training. So this is everything that I've compiled and studied and practiced for years. I mean, decades, right? And I, what I have come to understand is that it's all layered like it's all connected like there's a deeper knowing and understanding and a lot of what i'll say will likely be familiar like i already know that and that's fine that's awesome actually but if you put it together like with with other pieces like pieces of the puzzle um then we can come into a fuller understanding that the whole is bigger than the totality of the pieces. All right. So that's a little, a little sneak preview of what we'll be doing. It's a live training. So I really, really want you there live. It's free. It's from 12 to one, um, Monday through Friday. And I, I look forward to seeing you. You can sign up at the link below and I look forward to seeing you and hopefully um, these full moon and new moon readings have given you a, at least a glimpse or a better understanding of yourself and who you are and that's just one tool that I use but we're gonna we're gonna dive deeper and I'm really excited to share this with you so again much appreciation for you namaste